he saw the good in everything. He embraced, he embraced life. He really loved life. And life seemed to love him. Teenager Oliver McGowan died four years ago. He lived with epilepsy, mild autism and learning disabilities. He also maintained a very active life. Oliver died after being prescribed antipsychotic drugs in hospital when being treated for seizures. This was despite Oliver and his parents repeatedly informing doctors that he should not receive the medication. Today, an independent review into the care Oliver received at Southmead Hospital in Bristol found that his death was potentially avoidable. Positive to have it formally acknowledged because it's what we always knew. Um, but clearly what it just confirms to us is Oliver's death was avoidable and we knew that and it, and it was wrong. You know, when Oliver was in intensive care and we used to drive home every night, I used to say to Paula, this is wrong. It shouldn't have happened. We told them not to give him the drug. They did. They ignored us. You know, there's so many things about this which is wrong. The Learning Disability Mortality Review made the point that staff failed to properly assess Oliver when he arrived. Tom and Paula see this as especially important as an inquest two years ago said the doctor's decision to administer the drug was appropriate. They now want a fresh inquest. The charity MenCap report that 1,200 people with learning disabilities die avoidable deaths each year. They say for too long the vulnerable haven't been heard. Sometimes it's just simple things that could make all the difference. It's taking a bit of extra time to explain something. It's taking a little bit of extra time to, to diagnose somebody and taking into account their condition and treating them as individuals. So this report is really important because it's saying very loudly and very clearly people must be listened to. In response to the findings, North Bristol NHS Trust said the staff who cared for Oliver did their very best in managing his complex needs as his health was deteriorating. We're committed to continue learning and will act on this report. A police investigation is continuing into Oliver's death. Now his parents want his short life to mean better care for others with learning disabilities. Warren Nettleford, 5 News.